Hello guys! In this lesson, we're going to talk about WhatsApp social share button. Let's get started! Business owners are sharing their content online with their products and services that they offer. If you're running a business, it is essential to have social media accounts using different social media platforms today. Businesses without social media accounts will miss out on the opportunities to promote their business with people that are always browsing their social media accounts. With millions of people who are using different social media platforms, it is not impossible to attract and find your target market from those social media platforms. If you have websites or blogs, it's a good practice to incorporate buttons where your viewers or the website traffic that you get will have options to know more about you or your business. This is where social media share buttons are beneficial. You are creating a bookmarks link that your viewers or website traffic can be redirected to. You might notice some blogs having buttons with icons of different social media channels. The icons of social media channels that they include in their blogs or websites are a direct link to their social media accounts like Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, and WhatsApp. Let me show you how you can add social share buttons in your WordPress site. Log into your WordPress account. On the left menu, click Plugins, then click on the Add New link. Here you will see plugins that you can search for to add into your WordPress site. Search for the plugin Sassy Social Share. Here's the plugin. Click on it to view the description of the plugin. You can see here that it supports WhatsApp. And if you click on Screenshots, you will see a preview of the social share icons that you can use to add into your WordPress site. You can download the plugin using the Install Now button here and also in the results page. Click Install Now, and once it's finished downloading, you will see an Activate button here. Click to activate the plugin on your WordPress site, then click this button. If you click on Configure the plugin, you will be directed to the plugins page where you can see a simple tutorial with screenshots on how you can use the plugin properly. Going back to Plugins, click the Settings link under Sassy Social Share Plugin. Here you can select a theme for your social icons. You can select the shape of your social media icons and options are round, square, and rectangle. Choose the shape. You can also adjust the size of the icon as you click the plus icon under size and pixels. And you can see the icon preview while you adjust the icon size. Scroll down and click the Save Changes button. Click the standard interface tab. Below, you can use the social media platforms that you can add to your social share button. In this section, these are the social media platforms that are currently selected. To remove them, uncheck the social media platforms that you want to remove. Then check on the social media platforms that you want to appear on your site. You can drag the icons to rearrange them. Then tap on the Save Changes button once you're done. Now let's test the plugin. In this section, you can see the social share button. If you click the Facebook icon, you can see a pop-up window so you can share your WordPress site to the Facebook account that is logged in to this web browser. If you click on the Twitter icon, you will be directed to the Twitter page where you can share this as a tweet. This is the Twitter account that is logged in to this browser. If you click on the Pinterest icon, you will be directed to this page where you can pin these images to your Pinterest board and view it on your Pinterest account. If you click on the Instagram icon, you will be directed to a new tab accessing your Instagram account that is logged into this web browser. If you click on the WhatsApp icon, you will be directed to the WhatsApp web given that you've already activated it. And as you can see, this window allows you to send a message to one of your contacts and click this icon to share this link with your recipient. Incorporating social share buttons to your blogs or website can benefit you and your business. It will open the possibilities of attracting different demographics of your target market. It can help your business attract people who have stumbled upon your blog or website through searching keywords from search engines like Google and end up viewing your Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, or Instagram accounts and sharing your blog or website on their WhatsApp account. Now that you have learned about WhatsApp social share button, we can now proceed to the next topic, WP Generator. Click to chat on WhatsApp for your site. I'll see you there. Hello guys, in this lesson, we're going to talk about WP Generator. Click to chat on WhatsApp for your site. Let's get started. Business websites or blogs 
can get more traffic if you have the right tools that can help your site attract more followers, increase traffic to your website, and turn them into potential customers. Then later, convert potential customers into regular customers. WP Generator can help your business generate more sales. You can set it and leave it to get the job done on autopilot. If you use this plugin on your WordPress site, you don't need to beg for people to go to your website or follow you on your social media channels. This plugin helps you get free targeted traffic that will help you gain more profit into your business. Let me show you how you can use this plugin. Log into your WordPress site. On the left menus, click Plugins, then click on Add a new plugin. Upload the plugin from your drive, then click Install now, then activate the plugin. From the left menu, you will be able to see a menu for this plugin. Click on it. You'll see a generator form and you can select a chat mode for your website visitors to click on. Options are to show chat icon and show chat widget. First, let's choose the chat icon. Then from the chat options, you can choose which of these social media channels that you want to use for your viewers to reach you via chat. If you choose Facebook, you have to input your Facebook page's URL here, and as we check on our WordPress site, you will see the Facebook icon in this section. Your page visitors must log into their Facebook accounts for them to start chatting with you. If you choose WhatsApp, you need to enter your WhatsApp number first before this could work. If you use Telegram, you need to enter your bot ID here. Under Skype, you must enter your Skype ID so that your viewers can send you a Skype message directly to your Skype ID. If you choose to email, you must enter your email address in this text box. If you choose telephone, you must enter your mobile number here. Click the Save Settings button once you're done choosing the chat options. On your WordPress site, you can have one icon displayed for people to contact you or send you a chat message as they click on the icon on your site. If you want people to send you a chat using only one of the options, such as Facebook, WhatsApp, Telegram, Skype, Snapchat, Message, Email, and Telephone, then you must select the chat mode as Show Chat icon. This will allow you to choose only one chat option to be displayed on your WordPress site. If you want multiple social media channels to be displayed on your WordPress site, then you must choose Show Chat Widget Chat Mode. And if we check on our WordPress site, this is what your viewers will see as they click on this icon. It will give them options to send you a chat message using different social media channels that you have chosen. WP Generator is an essential tool for business owners to help increase their website traffic, increase conversion from potential customers to regular customers, and eventually increase your sales. This is a handy tool that you can find useful, especially if you have a WhatsApp business number and you want to use that to allow your customers to reach you on your WhatsApp business number. You'll be able to save them as one of your new customer contacts and add them to your broadcast list for future promotions. Having a WhatsApp icon on your WordPress site will encourage customers to send you messages or inquiries about your business in real time, which beats messaging you on emails since people check their mobile phones for SMS messages more often than checking emails. If you like to use this plugin, you may access the link in the description below. Now that you have learned about WP Generator, click to chat on WhatsApp for your site. Hello guys, in this lesson, we're going to talk about favoriting a message. Let's get started. When you have built a huge following in your social media platforms, and you have also incorporated WhatsApp on your social media accounts, you might be receiving tons of new messages on your WhatsApp business number every day. It will be stressful to search for all the new messages that you want to get back to and respond to their concerns if you have hundreds of messages to check. Another feature that you will find helpful for your business is a feature called Starred Messages. Both the WhatsApp Personal app and the Business app has this feature. Let's go to a WhatsApp Business app. Click the three dots. In this pop-up menu, you will see Starred Messages. Click on it. When you tap on the Starred Messages, it will show you a list of messages that you have starred on WhatsApp. To set chats to Starred Messages, choose a chat then choose a specific message that you want to star or bookmark. 
so that you can get back to that message later. Tap and hold on that chosen message. Above, you will see a few icons that you can choose from. Click the three dots and you will see more options such as Add Quick Reply, Star, and Copy from the drop-down menu. Tap on Star. Now we have a starred message. You can easily differentiate starred messages from regular messages with a star icon. It's a small star placed before the time a message is sent. Go back to the WhatsApp business dashboard and let's check on the starred messages list again. Tap on the three dots and in the drop down menu, tap on starred messages. Now you can see a new message that we have starred a while ago. When you tap on the starred message, you'll be directed back to the chat where that starred message can be found. Once you have responded to the messages you have starred, you can remove them from the starred message list on your WhatsApp. To remove messages that you have starred from the chat thread, choose the message that you want to unstar. Long press on the message and you will see these options on the upper section of your WhatsApp. Click the three dots and you will notice that WhatsApp detected that you have tapped on a message that is already marked as a starred message and it will give you an option to unstar the starred message. Tap on unstar. You will notice that the star icon in your previously starred message is now removed. If you changed your mind and you want to star a message again, just long press on the message, tap on the three dots, and choose star. You will see the star icon here again. And when you go to your WhatsApp dashboard, tap on the three dots, and choose to start messages. The message that we have starred is displayed on the list. In this starred message window, you can search for keywords that you might remember regarding your contacts message. Tap on the search icon and type in the keywords that you remember in your chat. And you will notice the keyword is highlighted as it matches a keyword in one of your starred messages. If you type in a customer name in the search box, it won't show us results since it only references the content of the starred messages that you have included in the starred message list. If you tap on the three dots, you can also use this option to remove all of your starred messages in just one click. This will save you time in tapping on each message and removing the mark as a starred message. If you tap on unstar all, you'll see a pop-up window asking for your confirmation if you want to cancel or unstar all messages. This is useful to protect your starred messages from being removed in the starred messages list accidentally. Just tap cancel if you don't mean to remove all the messages from the starred message list or tap on star if you don't need the starred messages to be bookmarked anymore. Also, in the starred messages window, if you tap on the message, you can also unstar every message here in this window to save you time in finding each starred message. Once you long press a starred message in this window, you will see more options above, such as the label icon, unstar icon, delete icon, or the forward icon, which allows you to send the starred message to one or more of your contacts, groups, and even in your broadcast list. Tap on this icon to forward the starred message to your chosen contacts. If you tap on the three dots, you can add a quick reply to this starred message. You can also copy the starred message or message this contact privately. If you tap on quick reply, you'll see the add quick reply window and save a new predefined message in one of your quick replies. That is how easy you can star any messages on your chat or group chats. Using the starred messages feature on WhatsApp, you can easily bookmark specific messages that you want to save for later reference purposes. This is very useful whenever you are busy and decide on responding to messages at a later time. You just have to tap on the starred messages option and you will see a list of messages that you have starred giving you a reference to particular messages inside a chat. Starred messages can only be seen by the person who starred that message using his WhatsApp account. Hello guys, in this lesson, we're going to talk about statistics. Let's get started. WhatsApp business has features that your business can benefit from. It's free and you don't have to pay for anything just to use the features that are not available on WhatsApp personal app. So far, we have talked about the features of the WhatsApp business app that you must take advantage of and implement in your business as it will help you on interacting with your potential and existing customers. WhatsApp has a feature that acts as message insights. 
WhatsApp Business Statistics helps business owners determine if the message they send to their contacts, be it in a group, broadcast list, or individual one-to-one -one chats, are sent successfully, delivered, read, and received by their recipients. Let's go to our WhatsApp Business app. Tap on the three dots. In this drop-down menu, choose Settings. Under the Settings menu, you will see the business logo that you have uploaded, the name of your business here, and the About You section. Business Settings to change the business profile, statistics, and messaging tools. Account Settings where you can change the account privacy, security, or even change your number. You can also view the chat settings like changing the wallpaper, and under the chat settings, you have the options to set the enter key on your keypad to send a message as you tap on the enter key. Enable or disable the media visibility, which allows you to save photos, videos, inside a chat thread on your phone, which consumes your phone's storage memory. You can also change the font size of your messages here. You have the option to set the font size to small, medium, or large font sizes. As you can see, we've set it to small, and our chat thread covers more of the space on your mobile screen. Going back, you can set a different language for the app, and by default, it is set to English. We have three more available languages to choose from. If we tap on this language, it will apply changes to all the words that you will see in your app. If you tap on the messages that you receive on your app, you can see that your customer's messages will stay the same. Going back to the chat settings, you can also back up your chats. If you tap on the chat's backup setting, then tap the backup button. Under the Google Drive settings, you can also back up chats to your Google Drive. By default, it is set to never. If you need to back up your Google Drive, you have the options for how often do you need to back up automatically. Options are only when I tap the backup button, daily, weekly, or monthly. If you tap on the Google account, WhatsApp will detect the mobile phone's Google accounts. And these are the Google accounts that are detected in this mobile phone. You can also add an account here if you need to back up your chats on a different Google Drive account. Backup over will allow you to back up when you are connected to a Wi-Fi connection or both Wi-Fi or cellular. It's important to back up your chats if you are doing business on WhatsApp so that you have a copy of your messages with your customers for emergencies that your mobile phone gets stolen or broken. Let's go to business settings. Tap on statistics. Here you will see how many of your messages are sent successfully. As you can see, we have four messages that we have sent and all four of them are delivered. But not all messages have been read, as you can see here under the message read option. There are only three messages read by our recipients. There are only three messages that have been read by our recipients. You can see here that all of our messages have been received. Using the statistics feature will be helpful for your business. This will help you understand your customer's engagement with their messages. Messages sent will give you the total number of messages that you have sent to your customers. You will determine if those messages have been successfully delivered to all of your recipients or not. If it was successfully delivered, then the total number of messages shown under message sent should be the same as the total number of messages under the message delivered statistics. If the total number of messages sent is not equal with the messages delivered, then some of your messages are not delivered successfully, probably due to interrupted internet connection. Messages read is the total number of messages that are opened and viewed by your recipients. If you see that the total number of messages under messages read is not equal or lesser than the total number of messages under message sent, then you can interpret that as some of your messages are sent to recipients who are not that interested in your promotional messages. If you look at these numbers, you will understand that you need to improve your promotional messages that you send to your broadcast list or the way you interact and communicate with your potential and existing customers as well. These simple metrics will let you know how well is your business performing using the WhatsApp messages. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and go to technicforce.com for more tools and training.